In this video, I'm going to be going over the dive pools that can be found in various locations out in the open world for Hogwarts Legacy. Now, there's two different classifications of dive pools that you will stumble across. One being a bigger whirlpool effect that when used will send you to an underwater cavern that usually has a short puzzle and contains a couple of chests. And the other being a small riptide effect that sends you underwater for a couple of seconds and you resurface with a piece of gear. And while there's numerous riptides that can be found in the open water, I have only been able to find a total of six whirlpools that I have marked on this map. Because these can be rather difficult to see, especially along the coastlines where the water is less calm. Plus, none of the whirlpools show up on the world map, but if you happen to fly close to one and not see it, a hidden treasure marker will appear afterwards. So I suggest searching for these whirlpools in the daytime and checking your map every now and then for any pools you might have missed. Also, one of the nice things about these smaller riptides is that they drop a lot of unidentified legendary pieces of gear that can be ID'd in the room of requirement. So it's definitely worth the time it takes to stop at each one you find. Plus, who doesn't love free loot and new appearance items? But that's pretty much it for this video. I'm fairly new to this game and just stumbled across the dive pools and wanted to make a short guide for other new players. Because it is free loot and sort of a hidden interaction. So let me know down in the comments if there are other whirlpools you have found that I didn't list here. Thanks for watching and remember to always. When you're done, just give it a tap and say, Mischief managed. Otherwise anyone can read it. Lumos.